right, all right. What's good, people? Welcome to Homeworld Deserts of Karak. Um, right now, we are going to be casting games from Jiraki Cup 16. Um, this one I'm about to cast is from the upper bracket. It's a quarterfinal series between Cookies and No Fun both excellent players they've both been around for a really really long time and i'm really excited to see what they have to bring to the table and what kind of shenanigans they get up to in the desert all right so before i get into the games i'm gonna open up our info.txt um it looks like to start um, no fun is going to be playing as the Saban, and Cookies will be playing as the Kanaf. It's going to be a really fun matchup. Um, Saban are super defensive, Kanaf are super aggressive. We're going to see how that dynamic plays out. Um, next, Cookies is going to ban Tor and the Crater. No fun is going to ban the Shallows. Uh, for map one, it looks like Cookies is going to pick Tidan Passage. Um, for the next two maps, game two and three, No Fun will pick um, Kalash Teeth um, and the Boneyard. Um, Cookies is going to choose um, Galcian Territories for map four, and No Fun is going to choose Firebase Krill for game five. Oh, hey Bozo, welcome to the stream. Um, how's the volume now? Bear with me a minute. Um, game one is already loaded up, so I'm going to hop in and play this game on tight end passage right now. Alright, so spawning in the south, we've got cookies. Um, looks like... Moving out with the base runner, so he's keeping that. And spawning in the north, we've got no fun playing Saban. Can't tell what he's going for just yet, but... I'm sure we'll figure it out. All right, so no fun is going support cruiser first, prioritizing eco. Um, usually a good call is the coalition of Saban player. It's pretty easy to defend if you get attacked early. Um, it looks like... See, Cookies, for his part, is going refinery mode. So we've got an economic opener from both players. Looks like uh, Cookie is starting to move out to his second base. Moving out with a base runner on its own. Um, I'm not sure what he's doing with this. We're going to see. Um, no Fun is already building salvagers, moving up to his second base. And teching light assault vehicles. So we might see some military units out from him soon. Base runner for cookies, I think, is just scouting, seeing what he can see. Sees it's an economic opener from no fun. We have located an artifact. Salvager online. Fleet capacity increased. Ready for 
All right, Cookies is has almost saturated his second base. Still no choice for, for tech, though. First LAVs are hit in the field for no fun. Looks like he's going to try to get some scouting of his own dog. And Cookies, meanwhile, is going for an artifact extraction, but um, if no fun moves fast, he might be able to scramble some LEDs and shut this down. Um, cookies, building sand scammers of his own to contest the LEDs from no fun. And no fun, it looks like, moved into AAB tech. So those are starting to hit the field. Um, Cookies, I think, is right now going to try and defend the Sardifact extraction. But with an AAV on the way, I am not sure how successful he's going to be. Um, Cookies, to his credit, already has a second production cruiser out. He's moving up onto his third base, so this is a hyper-aggressive eco opener. So, chat is saying that, um... Cookies definitely could have extracted this. Um, yeah, I think if he was more proactive and tried to get that out of there before the AAVs rolled in, he could have done it. So not a lot of mileage out of that base runner, other than the initial scouting, which I think allowed Cookies to get up to three bases really, really quickly and faster than his opponent because he knew it was an ego opener from no fun as well. Cookies, meanwhile, um, is starting to execute his game plan. He's got railgun sitting the fields now. And those are going to be able to shut down these LAVs. Alright, so we've got the beginnings of a scuffle here. Um, sorry I missed a railgun going down. Um, these AAVs, if they get on top of the railguns, they can kill them. But at range, the heavy railguns will win. So Cookies, it looks like, has um, a pretty formidable army on the field right now. Um, it's going to shut down everything no fun has. So he needs to start pushing across the field, try to see what damage he can get done. So, no tech choice yet from no fun. Yeah, chat's wondering what he's going for, and I'm wondering too. Going for carrier production upgrades right now. Gonna try to pump out units faster. Some sense skimmers getting left out for the, the AAV gods here. Uh, 
Oh, and it looks like um, Cookies went for Heavy Railgun EMP, which actually kind of was instrumental in pushing this group of AAVs back. It's going to keep these two railguns alive to rail another day. And let's see Cookies super ahead on Eco. Um, He's got three production cruisers out. He's got a production cruiser on his third base. And he's weaponizing his carrier now. Looks like he also went into Honor Guard cruiser fabrication. This is probably my favorite unit. Um, can't wait for this boy to hit the field. Hmm. Still no advanced tech from no fun. Um, looks like sticking to an LAV AAV composition. It's really got no answer for this carrier right now. Or the Honor Guard cruiser. The Honor Guard wipes out everything here. Pretty brutal fight here. Um, it looks like Cookies is getting the better of no fun. A lot of casualties on both sides, though. Alright, Cookies is pushing hard. Um, they were able to push no fun's carrier off the third base, which is huge because Cookies is still fluently mining on all three locations. Now, if Cookies can camp this position, keep no fun from mining off of the third, the economic advantage over time is going to start racking up like crazy. No fun's massing units over here. We're gonna see what he does with those. There's an opportunity to flank here, send these LAVs wide, and I think that's exactly what No Fun is doing. Ah, uh, changes his mind. I don't entirely blame him for that. Drops a targeting jammer, and that is instrumental in this LAV skim fight. Um, it prevents these send skimmers from firing, unless the LAVs do damage with impunity. Cookies is out for blood, though. He's moving in, starting to put a ton of damage on Nofon's carrier. Attacking power systems four, even. Yeah, this is going to be a dead carrier in not too long. And no fun goes down to Cookies. Um, just really well played game one from Cookies. Um, economic opener and then closed in that really quickly. All right, bear with me a minute. Let me load up game two. Alright, so game two is going to be on Kalash Teeth. Um, this is usually a really good map for aggro, so I'm expecting Cookies to go for a rush. Um, we're going to see what happens. So Cookies, it looks like building two salvagers. 
scouting with that base runner again. Uh, what's Snow Fun doing? Also building salvagers. Going for early LAV fabrication. So he is expecting a rush from cookies. And wants to have some tools to answer it. Or maybe go for some aggression of his own. We'll see. Cookies, it looks like, is... Yep, saving up for refinery mode again. So, he might actually wind up ahead of no fun again economically. We could see a repeat of game one. Um, base runner comes out, sees the carrier. Might have seen LAV's building, but I'm not sure. Oh, now he definitely sees the first LAV hitting the field. And immediately clicks on Sand Skimmer Fabrication to answer that. Perfect. LAVs are starting to fan out. It's going straight into AAV fabrication, meaning he's probably going to try to go for something aggressive here. No tech from cookies yet. Looks like he can click onto railguns if he wants. Base runner goes down. LEDs are doing scouting right now. Alright, and the first AAVs are building for no fun. Um, it looks like it's pathing them all the way over to the other side of the map. Looks like he's getting ready for an attack. These LEDs are pressuring a little bit, just denying the second base for a little bit. And Cookies is building sand scammers to answer, and he is going for assault ship fabrication. Um, that's gonna answer the LAVs, it's gonna answer the AAVs that are coming, if you micro them right, and it's gonna open up some really spicy tech options for the Kinef player later in the game. First AAV streaming across the field. No fun still on one base, by the way, while uh, Cookies is on two. So pressure's really on this AAV push to get something done. If you don't do damage with this, you're just going to wind up further behind. AVs, I, I think, are gearing up for an attack on the main. But first assault ship hits the field for cookies. This is there, for, there to answer, hopefully. And this fight really is going to come down to micro. AVs are taking names. One salvager goes down. Even the sand skimmers are contributing to this fight. One assault ship goes down. One AAV goes down. Watch 
two AAVs go down, and it looks like this attack has been repelled. Um, meanwhile, no fun built a support cruiser. He's moving up onto two bases, expecting an air switch, so he's actually blind teching missile batteries. Cookies, though, isn't going for them at all. He's going for siege cruisers, which are a Kinef exclusive unit, and they are fantastic. Um, they're tanky. They've got a direct fire ability that does a ton of AOE damage, and they also have a long-range barrage that's good at dealing with blocked units. Cookie's pushing out with assault ships, trying to get some damage done, maybe do a little bit of scouting. Cleans up some LAVs in mid. These sand skimmers are poking, trying to figure out the three base timing, trying to... They're going to go to the third base, see that nothing's there. Cookies, meanwhile, getting a production cruiser, so he's looking to move up onto his third base. He also built a base runner, which um, he is going to try to abstract an artifact with that. But with AABs on the field, I'm not sure if it's actually going to happen. These two assault ships, it looks like, are going for a backstab, seeing if they can attack this main base right here. But they're going to see the AAVs and pull back. First extract of the game on the way out for cookies. So no fun has pushed off the attack on his main. He's pushing out with his AAVs. And Cookie is building blast drones. Um, I'm guessing that these are probably going to be used um, for an eco strike at some point. Um, in this version of Jiraki, you need, I think, three of them to kill a salvager line. Cookies is moving out onto his third base, already starting to build salvagers to fill that up. And no fun really waffling around for these AAVs, he's not sure what he wants to do with them, but a little bit indecisive from them. Got another support cruiser out for him though, so he's probably going to move up to that third base. And he's teching battle cruisers right now, which are a fantastic unit. Um, tons of alpha damage. Um, they have an ability to smoke up and then heal when they get low. And they are incredibly difficult to defeat. Um, cookies, though, it looks like he's building his first siege cruiser, which is incredibly good on this map. Um, we've got two blast drones coming out on the left flank. We're going to see what he does with those. Looks like these AAVs finally know what they're doing. They're pushing for an attack on Cookie's third base. There's an assault ship here to answer. There's another one building. But, uh, is he... Alright, so he's invested a little bit in... Um, armor for his armored units. Um, looks like he got armor level 1, which is always a good choice. And it looks like he's attacking on this left flank with two blast drones and four assault ships. This is going to be nasty when it hits. Gonna try to keep tabs on all of this. Um, Cookie's moving out, just stabilizing his third, pushing out with assault ships, while he's attacking on Nofon's third base. Uh, 
Oh, tons of damage from those Blast Drones. That was a fantastic hit. I love the synergy here. Blast Drones and Assault Ships do a ton of area effect damage. So putting the two of them together is a really great way to get a ton of DPS in a short period of time. And doing that, he was able to kill a support cruiser and three salvagers. So just really well played from Cookies. It's attacking on multiple flanks. First siege cruiser is sitting in the front line. And that's gonna wipe up everything. Except for this battle cruiser. Let's see how the battle cruiser contributes to this fight. It's chewing through the siege cruiser like paper. So Cookies is gonna pull back. So my favorite way to fight battle cruisers is to not fight them at all, attack where they aren't, and generally outflank the enemy. So Cookies, meanwhile, is attacking no funds main. Targeting jammer is gonna slow things down a little bit. But no fun meanwhile is pushing out on this left flank right here. Alright, it looks like No Fun was able to repel the attack on his main base. But he's pushing out. With a bunch of AAVs, a battle cruiser, and a missile battery. But these two siege cruisers right here in this choke point are gonna exploit the terrain a little bit and make it really hard for these AAVs to push through. We're gonna lay down a fadeaway barrage, take these units down a little bit, get these health bars slower. These assault ships are gonna realize they're not gonna get anything done, and right here, and pull back somewhere they can hopefully be more useful. Cookies is pivoting into railguns, which are a great choice when you're dealing with this composition. They do well against battle cruisers. And they also do really well against these AAVs. Um, no fun's gonna see the rails come out and pull back a little bit. The second battle cruiser just hit the field. Oh, hey, Rendered Spy, how you doing? Alright, so... Cookies is pushing through mid with these siege cruisers. And his goal right now is... I think, probably keep no fun bottled up and just get artifacts abstracted and exploit the field control that he's got right now. Pretty good choice for him. He's stacking carrier systems. Gonna unlock this carrier. Um, he's looking to weaponize it right now. Looks like we've got a big fight brewing near the extraction zone. A couple sand skimmers screening for the siege cruisers and railguns. A lot of DPS coming out from cookies right now. These railguns find the battle cruiser, start laying shots into it. Barrage is coming out from these siege cruisers, gonna catch these units as they retreat, do a little bit of damage. And Cookies checked the range upgrade for the siege cruisers, which is an excellent choice. Gives the barrages a little bit more range, probably makes it easier for them to whittle down these battle cruisers over time. Alright, so Cookies is starting to lay down the herd on these battle cruisers and attack No Fun's third. Targeting Jammer comes down on these siege cruisers, blocks the retreat a little bit.
And no fun, no see, can't fight this. He's gonna GG. Another really well played game from Cookies. It's just a little bit ahead that whole time, and just shut down everything no fun threw at him. Alright, just gonna load up game three real quick. Alright, so game three is going to be on the Boneyard. And pressure is really on no fun to make something happen here because he is up against a wall. His tournament life is on the line right now. We're going to see what cookies goes for. Looks like two salvagers going on to RUs this time in an instant send skimmer fabrication. So, and the base runner is higher as well. Nine times out of ten, this is going to be a rail rush. Really excited to see that. Um, no fun is building salvagers. No tech yet. Um, Cookie's moving out with his production cruiser, building sand skimmers fast. And we've got a production cruiser from, or support cruiser from No Fun. So he's going support cruiser first, going for an economic opener. Attacking LAVs right now. So he's probably going to have a response ready by the time uh, Cookies gets here. No railgun tech yet from Cookies. Um, he's got the RUs for it, but needs to save up a couple hundred more CUs. Alright, Probe from No Fun is gonna see that Cookies is rushing. Gonna see a forward production cruiser, which he hasn't seen yet this series. And No Fun is building LAVs like crazy. Like his life depends on it, because it absolutely does. So he's gonna pop out an armed logistics module and a targeting jammer. Just try to slow this down by time for as long as he can. Alright, Cookies is almost done with railgun fabrication, so... We're gonna see one of those building really soon. LAV numbers for no fun are still incredibly low, so Cookies is in a really powerful position right now. Um, He's building an assault railgun, which I don't agree with. Honestly, dude, if you're in this situation, build a heavy and start laying damage on this carrier. But first assault railgun sitting in the field, we're gonna see what he gets done with it. Um, Cookie's starting to long haul construction units off of the second base right here. Always a good choice when you're rail rushing.
Yeah, Cookies is gonna shark over here, try to get some damage done, but not really finding any targets. This Assault Railgun is gonna start uh, claiming targets. Gonna kill a targeting jammer. Second Assault Railgun hitting the field for Cookies. Takes down an LAV. This armed logistics module is going to get wiped out. This one as well. First AAVs are hitting the field. We're going to see what they do. A lot of cookies and skimmers got cleaned up along with this assault railgun. But still building sand skimmers. Second production cruiser is coming out for cookies, so just gonna try to beef up his um, production on the front line. Right now, it seems like he's content to try to contain Nofon for a while. Second production cruisers moving out onto the field, pumping out sand skimmers. Yeah, Cookies is in a really strong position right now. I'd like to see him try to do some damage to this carrier. But no fun, still pumping out AAVs. He's gonna get a bunch of them and then try to overrun. And the thing about AAVs is they're actually faster than these production cruisers. So if he can wipe out Cookie's army with these AAVs, he could potentially get two production cruiser kills and win the game that way. Um, We're gonna see what happens. I think he's going for it. Targeting Jammer comes out on Cookie's Blob. Excellent placement there. Gonna get an assault railgun kill for his trouble. Um, first heavy railgun for Cookie sips the field. I think that's a good choice. I think he needs to pivot. So he's going to retreat, he's going to give respect to these AAVs, just maintain the, the distance between them, maintain the range for as long as he can. Got another railgun coming out for cookies, which is a good call. And these AAVs are out for blood. They, I think, are going to try to go all the way to Cookie's main if they can. Oh, this railgun getting a little far forward. It's going to die for its trouble. Alright, the AAVs are going to do their damage and pull back a little bit. Cookie's still building heavy railguns, but um... Oh, looks like a, a little bit of Miss Micro with the carrier. Carrier's going to move out by accident. But he's going to catch that. These AAVs are given a lot of respect to the railguns, which is good for cookies. No fun, meanwhile, is gonna use the field control he bought with these AAVs and extract an, ar an artifact. 
Pump it out, LA views on the back line. Watch out for this. Um, Cookie's tech to refinery mode. So he's gonna transition into a, more of an economic macro game. Sin skimmers are gonna shut down this LAV scout right here. Keep it from seeing what no, um, Cookies is doing. And Cookies is gonna try to move up onto his third base and transition to a three base economy as quick as he can. Two Sin skimmers over here trying to scout the three base timing from No Fun. I like that. See, Snowfun's not on three base yet. Perfect. That's what you want to see is the Kenneth player right now. Snowfun messing up units for another attack. He's leaning hard into heavy vehicles armor for his AADs. That's going to make these guys really tanky against Cookie's rail guns. Looks like we're going to have a showdown in mid coming out in a couple of minutes, or a couple seconds. Both players not really want to take a, or not really wanting to take a fight that they're not sure they can win. So we're going to see a little bit more jockeying around here. All right, Cookies is checking interceptors right now. So he's gonna go for an air switch. Wanna make sure I catch this fight when it finally happens. No fun finding a really good angle on these rail guns. LEVs are getting right on top of them. LEVs are going to snipe the two railguns, and then after that, this army is pretty much free to overrun. These AAVs are poised to do a ton of damage. But assault railguns from Cookies are on the field. One goes down. Two go down. And Cookies is forced to abandon his main base, so this attack from No Fun is going incredibly well. Even got a base runner here to support with this targeting jammer. Great choice. Love to see it from Saban players. And these AAVs are taking names. They're wiping out salvagers. They've wiped out Cookie's entire army. Yeah, this is several salvager kills. First interceptors from Cookie's are hitting the field, though. This is kind of a desperation move. Yeah, Cookies is probably going to clean up this attack, but at what cost? Alright, AAVs are finally cleaned up. Cookies is going to perform the long and arduous task of refilling two of his bases. And no fun, meanwhile, filling up his third. Um, that was an excellent attack from him. Slowed Cookies down immensely. And because no fun saw the interceptor, he's going to be building missile batteries right away. You love to see it. And he's attacking support cruiser anti air. Cookies probably isn't going to be able to tech into anything new for a while, so those missile batteries are going to be a huge pain in the ass. Go ahead. 
This one interceptor out here is looking pretty forlorn right now. But he's going to use it to scout. Interceptors have a crazy vision range. Gonna snipe this probe right here, always worth it. And No Fun, meanwhile, is building up a huge army. Um, Tecton to railguns, um, doing a railgun, AAB, LAB, and missile battery composition, which is probably gonna be pretty good. Um, no Fun, meanwhile, um, double producing assault railguns. Um, yeah, these units, um, Bosco Cow talks about them a lot as a unit that counters everything and gets countered by everything. It really comes down to how you micro them. Um, we've got a huge LA, LAB flank coming out on the left. Cookie spots it. It looks like he's just committing hard into assault rails. And he's already got railgun armor 2, which is going to make these a lot harder to deal with. Alright, assault railguns, it looks like, are gonna repulse the LABs. But we've got another flank of them coming out on the right. Just keep an eye on this. Assault railguns are gonna find no fun's army. Ward him off with a couple of shots. Oh, Cookie's starting to build heavy railguns. So we're gonna see an assault railgun heavy railgun comp, and I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's gonna be cool. And going into honor guard cruisers too, which again, in this composition, are going to be fantastic. Um, dart Maneuver um, just got tacked for these Assault Railguns. Going to make them faster. Cookie's kind of out of position, though. He's vulnerable on this flank right now. Heavy Railguns are going to spot it, though. Assault railguns are gonna dart over. This is a crazy amount of LAVs, though. We're gonna see if they're able to clean up these ARs. Uh, big scrum breaking out by the second base. Alright, Cookies is building an honor guard cruiser, which he's gonna need. Alright, it looks like the LAVs got cleaned up. And these assault railguns are... They're hiding behind the stealing. They don't want to pick a fight with no fun just yet. Cookies, I think, being a little bit cautious. The pilot of this interceptor is giving Cookies some incredible information right now, though. Like, 
incredible scouting with that one interceptor. No fun pumping out a lot of units. Teching into assault cruisers. Um, not sure how that's going to fare against the ARs. I haven't really seen that fight too often. Honor Guard Cruiser is taking names. Oh, just chunks a ton of units with that second shot. No fun's actually going to um, cancel Assault Cruisers and tech into Battle Cruisers, which might be a better choice for him, but you can tell he's sweating a little bit. He's indecisive, not sure what tech he wants to go for. So these assault railguns for cookies are really making ARs look good. He's got 10 of them right now. So, um, Cookies is also tech range calibration for these railguns. And that's going to make them able to um, actually outrange uh, Saban rails, which is excellent. Oh, but we've got a flank coming in over on the left. Um, no fun's going to try to catch cookies out of position. Taxes micro a little bit. Uh, looks like cookies is pivoting into assault ships. Uh, we're going to see what those are able to do. Um, got a third production cruiser on the field. He's weaponizing his carrier. So Assault Ship's going to spot the flank, Honor Guard Cruiser's going to have something to say about it. And No Fun, I think, is going to retreat, consolidate his forces, and look to attack on a different flank. Cookies is chasing here. Gonna spot that no fun has units over here. Hero interceptor finally goes down. Alright, Cookie's taking carrier systems. He's gonna want to keep trying to weaponize that carrier. And it looks like No Fun is going for a carrier push right now. And building battle cruisers, so going for the sledgehammer blow. Oh, we're gonna have a big fight. Heavy railguns are taking names. Honor Guard Cruisers taking names. Assault Railguns are just looking for a good angle right now, and I think they're going to find one. Yeah, really good combined arms play from Cookies right now. Oh, he is... that carrier is melting! Alright, and Game 3 goes to Cookies. Really nice play from him, actually. Um, I was expecting it to be a little bit more of an evenly matched series, but Cookies came to play. He knows what he's doing. Um, thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.